you want to use nail trimmers on um, a dog with black nails again push the foot into them so they can't pull it away and the best thing to do see where there's a bend is just past the bend just past the bend gently squeeze and just trim it off bit by bit little by little nice and straight with the floor you squeeze it gently if you've gone too far before you actually cut it the dog will let you know so there you go we've got that nail nice and short now. I like to finish off with the nail file just to get the quick to receive back as much as possible but just just go carefully with a dog with black nails just go little by little squeeze the clippers as you go because if you do touch the quick they will let you know little by little and then I finish off with a, a nail and there we go so that's how to do a black nail so here I have Milo and Milo's got really black nails um, so using this is a really good way to keep them nice and short to file them down and, and not to be wondering where the quick is because on a black nail you just can't see anything you can't see the quick whatsoever so this is a great way he's nice and relaxed aren't you Hey, you go baby, where's my little boy? And I can get all these nails filed down at the same time. So a gritty nail file, if you're a bit nervous about the clippers, is a really good way. But uh, keep the nails short, it's a lot better for them. When the nails grow long, they change their angle on the foot to compensate for the nails. So when you keep the nails short, the foot is placed on the floor at the right angle. So it's important to, to do your maintenance on the nails and keep them nice and short.